Also tonight, we have some stunning numbers on car thefts in Cleveland and where most of them happen. A report by Cleveland.com has the thefts broken down by areas and neighborhoods. Our Brie Buckley explores their findings and talks with a woman who knows firsthand just how bad the problem is. Uh, hopefully I never go through that again. Hopefully nobody has to. We first talked to Megan Kay after her Kia was stolen back in November in the West Bank of the Flats while she was at work. Police found it about two weeks later, trashed but she waited months for parts with no end in sight on if or when it could get fixed. Her insurance company and repair shop both saying there wasn't anything else they could do because of the wild influx of car thefts. So she got creative, finding a replacement window on her own. It was actually about $500 to get one on eBay and I had to scour online for weeks to find it. She got the part just so she could trade it in for a different car ready to be done with the entire situation. I was very worried that it would be stolen again. Um, you know, and having kids and stuff, I was just worried that we were going to go grocery shopping or something and come out and the car would be gone. Car thefts in Cleveland have doubled so far this year compared to the same time frame last year, according to data from the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office. Cleveland.com crime reporter John Tucker digging into the issue. The last six months we had 3,000 car thefts, give or take, in Cleveland. And that's 500 every month. That's like 16 or 17 a day. According to Tucker's report, from January to June this year, 2,937 cars were stolen. In 2022, there were 1,479 for the same months. This Cleveland.com map showing downtown and old Brooklyn as the top hotspots. And Tucker says they aren't just Kias and Hyundais. Chevys and Fords account for the uh, most popular model of uh, car being stolen over the last six months, 14% each. Both models are on the rise in terms of thefts. A trend that Megan says she isn't surprised by. I believe it. It's scary um, and it's unfortunate. We reached out to Cleveland police about the issue. A spokesperson says that 55% of car thefts in the city in 2023 have been Kias and Hyundais, 38% of that Kias and 17% Hyundais. The city is also encouraging people to not leave running vehicles unattended. Always lock your doors, use tracing tags to help locate your car, call 911 immediately and sign up for the city's camera sharing program. Russ. Okay, Bree Buckley in the newsroom. Thank you. Of course.